Section 87 of Childhood Favorites and Fairy Stories. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ralph Snelson. Childhood's Favorites and Fairy Stories by Various Authors. Section 87. The Chatterbox. From morning to night was Lucy's delight to chatter and talk without stopping. There was not a day but she rattled away like water forever a-dropping. As soon as she rose, whilst she put on her clothes, t'was vain to endeavor to still her. Nor once did she lack to continue her clack, till again she lay down on her pillow. You'll think now, perhaps, there would have been gaps if she hadn't been wonderful clever, that her sense was so great and so witty her pate that it would be forthcoming forever. But that's quite absurd, for have you not heard much tongue and few brains are connected, that they are supposed to think least who talk most, and their wisdom is always suspected. While Lucy was young, had she bridled her tongue with a little good sense and exertion, who knows, but she might have been our delight instead of our jest and aversion. End of section 87